What's up, you viewers? You might, and welcome to my Football Manager 2016 um, type of road to glory. And I'm going to be using Argentina to try and uh, get them to win an international title. As you guys know, they have failed miserably a bunch of times. First, it was against Germany, then it was Chile, then it was Chile, and it's quite embarrassing. And um, you know what? I think I'm the guy who's going to be able to lead them to a victory, as you guys can see here. Argentina, a point king. I should probably change that to CMI. I was going to try and see if I could actually change it to CMI, because I have, like, the uh, editing thing, but I don't think I can go into that much detail. Wait, edit person. Yeah, here we go. Okay, um... Uh, let's see. Oh, I'll actually change that. i just say CMI. I don't know why I called myself king there. I guess we can just have it that. Okay, and that should... Alright, there you go. Argentina appoint CMI as manager. I should have probably done that from the beginning. But anyways, so I'm going to have uh, things a bit different. Um, the main point of the series is to try and get Messi to win the international trophy. Um, but most importantly, try and get the whole entire team. Which, But mainly, we just want Messi to win it. Um, as I am a Messi fan, but I'm not a fanboy. I'm just a fan. And I'm going to go ahead and implement my tactics and um, all of that good stuff. And I'll show you guys everything once it's all done. I'll also have a link in the description if you guys are wondering what tactic I will be using. You guys can go ahead and try it out for yourselves. Um, I've been using it for quite a while and uh, so far it has not let me down yet. So that's why I'm going to be using it in this video. Alright, all my tactics are done and... Why the hell are we in December 2014? What? Oh, we have a match here against Brazil. Oh my goodness, already we have a tournament. Wow. And how the hell are we in 2014? It says fifth. I'm still confused. I'm still confused. I don't know. All right, we got to talk to the press here. Uh, blah, is there any pressure? I have confidence. That okay, I'm not going to say that. I don't want to be too cocky yet. I'm just going to calm down. It's going to be nice to start off uh, with a good note. I haven't uh, taken the job. If I didn't have, I wouldn't have as much confidence. Blah, 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 your playing career was a huge success at this level, but imagine it was different. Um, yes, I feel so, blah, 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 blah. Pretty much all the basics. I'm just going to put no comment for most of these as, uh, okay, let's see here. I think that has something to do with Messi here. Will you be looking to change the captaincy or allow Messi to continue? I have total faith in Messi and looking forward to working with him closely. All right, that is it. And thank you, media. Now we shall move on to the game, which will be in 259 days. All right, as time is going by, uh, we are going to be selecting our uh, first team for the uh, squad here. Yeah. And I'm actually going to go ahead and remove a lot of these players. As I know, as like I, I kind of have a good idea of who I want in, in this team and who I don't want. Alright, so I guess I'm going to take out. Yeah, I'll take him out. And I'll bring in a central defensive midfielder. Because I definitely need one. But who's better? Her. I think I'll, I'll go with the guy from Atletico Madrid. Yes. I'll go with him, come up to the national team, and I'll confirm the squad. I think there's going to be something that's going to happen with players that aren't happy with being outside of the uh, squad. But I got to make the tough calls, and uh, well, someone's going to have to do it, and that person is me. So our first friendly here will be against uh, Bosnia. And some players that I know from Bosnia, uh, Begovic, um, Dezeko, I think, uh, yeah, I think he's from there. Um, what's that guy's name who plays for Juve? What does, uh, Pajanic or something like that? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know, but let's just give a quick team meeting, blah, blah, blah. So far, everything's looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and hopefully beat Bosnia as a team like us should be beating them, despite the fact that we are away, which might have a little of an effect we should still be able to beat them as our youth team here they're playing quite well not quite sure where they're at where are they at i think uh, oh it's a friendly i thought it was like a huge tournament the other thing that i don't like is that my team isn't familiar with the uh, tactics 
But in this one, I'm going to put in here Ruli because I trust him in goal. I'm not much of a fan of um, of Romeo. Is it like Romeo? What is his name? Yeah, Romeo, something like that. Not a big fan of him. So I'm not going to have him in goal. And of course, Mascarano is going to be our central defensive midfield. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I should have thought of that. I should have thought of that. The first name when I thought of, dis of defensive midfielder, I should have thought of... Um, Mascarano, because he's actually really good in the defensive role. Lalana or Nicholas here? Uh, I think I'm going to go Nicholas for this one. And our striker. I'm going to put on Tevez, yo. <laughs> Screw that. Tevez is the man. And the substitute, they can just pick for themselves. And let's go ahead and jump on into this match here and see how things go. We're not going to have a team. Uh, yeah, we will. We'll have a team talk. Let's say, show what you got. And uh, I have some faith in you and all that stuff. Usually just like the basics. And let's see how this team does play. I really hope that there's no lag in this as I am recording. And sometimes it does lag when I'm recording this game. Which if that is an issue, then for f uh, FM17, I might want to get uh, some new drives for my PC. And oh my goodness, it is going super fast. So the main point of this tactic, it's um, aggressive, and it's really quite good defensively, depending on how the uh, how the players are. So you might see a couple fouls here and there, and if like half of the team gets a red card or something, or if they get yellows, like to be realistic. But if they get lots of uh, yellows, that's because this this is a very aggressive tactic. And I've used it with uh, small teams before, and I was actually able to win the Premier League with Bournemouth. And it was really cool, because I won it in my, in my first season. So I was like, oh shit, that's pretty sick. Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. I forgot to do something. Tavis is not supposed to be playing that. He's supposed to be playing a poacher. Oh yeah, yeah that is one mistake that I did. We got a free kick here for Messi. Passes it over, and Zabaleta takes a shot, but he misses. Corner here. Oh, did I not forget? I think I might have forgotten to implement my corner tactics, too. It looks like everyone's playing decent. Not the best, but we should be most likely trying to get a goal at this time. My goodness, Tevez is playing absolutely terrible. But then again, I can't blame him. Because he's not used to this. Ooh. Yeah, we gotta get everyone ready with this tack. Oh my goodness, are you serious? How did he miss that shot? How did he miss that shot? How did he miss that shot? Who was that? Yo, I'm disappointed. I'm not happy. We're taking out Tevez, bringing on here Higuaim. I think Higuaim's a game changer. I hope he is, man. I really hope he is. <laughs> and we might uh, end up taking off here Evra. We might have to take him off. Let me just go back to the team talks. Come on. Uh, give him some motivation. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can't believe Tevez missed that. Or whoever missed that. That was an absolute terrible miss. But we're passing in the back. I think this would be the perfect. Ooh. Good shot there by Higuaim. If he's. He's, uh, he's not on the penalties. Nah, he can't be on the penalties. If he is, that won't be good. Is it Guerrero playing? I might have to actually put on a Guerrero instead. Because I want to see which team plays well. Alright, come on, just cross it. Yes, finally Higuain gets a goal. Higuain gets it. Alright, now he's showing some some potential. A good cross here, just a quick replay. A nice header, fantastic cross. And this tactic is also good for headers, just an FYI. I think we're going to give Lalana a chance. And Perez is going to come in here. He's from Valencia. I want to just change things up a bit here. My left back will stay there as he's having a quite a good game. And I think that'll be it. Alright, we got a corner here. And there's only 50 minutes left. And Messi just scores an absolute screamer. What? <laughs> Look at this. Perez, he came on. Takes the corner. Lalana. Messi, oh my goodness, Lalana is—he's—he's—he's he's, he's crazy, man. This guy's sick. 
despite him playing for um for Spurs, he's quite a he's like he's a good player. He's a good player. Even though I'm I'm a Chelsea fan and a Spurs fan, you know, we're not supposed to get along, but I'm just gonna be honest. You guys have a good player, Lalana. Crazy player, man. Skillful too. Oh, they're trying to get on the counter. Dezeko is just kind of tired there. You can definitely see. Ooh. Are you serious? We got a red card. I warned you guys that we were most likely going to get a red card. But Mascarano can't play as a center back. So that's a little plus one for us there. So we can just move him back down. And have that good defensive role secured. And I think this will end off the game. Let's see. Oh, can we get a couple of chances here? Don't concede. All right. That is the game. Winning 2-0 against Bosnia. Fantastic performance. And hopefully this carries on. And it looks like Bosnia only had like two shots on net. Huh, interesting. And Messi gets the man of the match. Which, something weird um, is that Messi is always man of the match for like all the games that he plays. It's, it's ridiculous. Even when, it's, uh, when his team loses, he's always man of the match. <laughs> I'm not sure why. <laughs> like, it's crazy. Nicholas, uh, he got a red card, but that's okay, though. I'm not too worried about that. I wish they had, like, better center backs. Wish they did. It'd definitely make my options a bit more open, but... I think we'll go with what we have right now. And let's kick on the game against Russia. Alright, a quick pep talk here. Just win the game. Okay. I got confidence in you guys to do well. Mainly what I want is for them to get used to this uh, tactic, and once they, they do do that, um, it's going to be a lot easier for them in the in the long run because they'll know how to play the tactic and what to, to do and what not to do. Damn it, I forgot to switch the damn thing again. The striker is supposed to be a poacher. Damn, why do I keep on forgetting that? All right, we have a... Oh, damn, that's a breakaway. Please don't get out of net. Okay. I trust uh, Ruli when he's in net. I trust him a lot. And his reflexes in this game are crazy. They're like at 18 or something. That's insane. Zabaleta, Messi, Mascarano, Perez, Di Maria. Oh my goodness, Lana, nice shot. All right, we're in possession of the ball. Di Maria, Perez, Higuaim. Pass it over to Zabaleta. And Higuaim shot it, but he uh, missed it. But Perez was there just in time to get the rebound. Man, Higuaim really hitting that damn post. That brings back memories. Really bad memories when he should have scored the goals and he just decided to bury them in the freaking post. First off is up and I'm going to say I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy with that. We missed a few key chances that I feel that should have been buried. Let's see how the second half goes. Alright, could we uh, score a goal within a couple like five minutes here? Playing quite well. Oh, is that a nice cross? But unfortunately, it is blocked. Oh, okay. We got a corner here. Let's see what Messi can do. Perez. Oh, Higuaín. No. Oh, shoot. Perez is injured. I have to take him off. Oh, I, got, I have Pastore on here. Yo, what? I got Pastore. That's sick. I forgot about that. Pastore is a uh, place for PSG. I forgot that I had him this whole entire time in this game. I should have used him. I should have used him from the beginning, I guess. Alright, we're going to do some quick substitutions. As I want to give some players a rest. Lana is going to come off. I'll put Di Maria in, in his spot. And I'll put um, Fernandez there. Just to see how he plays when he's playing in that position. And I kind of want to put Aguero on the field. Yeah, I'm going to put on Aguero. I'll we'll see how well he does. And also, should I switch up my center backs? My center backs, they have a good par partnership going there. Uh, Maz, I'll take him off instead. Yeah, I'll take him off and I'll leave it at that. Three subs coming on. And let's see if they're game changers. Oh damn, they're on they're on a good breakaway right now. Oh oh my goodness. Dennis scores. Uh oh, from a mistake that we caused. Who was that? Who was supposed to guard him? Who was that? Otamendi, what are you doing, dude? 
freaking like pay attention. Come on, bury that. I would not want to, like, I don't want to be that guy that says I don't want to go away with a draw, but I am experimenting with, with the squad. And so far, we haven't played bad, but I'm, like, I just really want to win. Ooh, pretty good shot. This has been kind of a stressful match, given the fact that my team has hit the post a bunch of times. Oh my, yes, finally, Di Maria, Di Maria, get in, a 90th minute goal, that is what I'm talking about, that is what I'm talking about, see, he plays so good on the left hand side, right in the bottom corner, and that, I think that's going to seal the victory for us, that is going to seal the victory, and one thing we learned is that Aguero should not be playing as a striker in this uh, formation, but we'll still give him a couple chances, uh, he only got to play for around like 20 minutes. Hopefully we don't concede though. I know how this game does. Sometimes. Oh, come on. Can we get another another goal here? No. But can we defend though? And Aguero's already injured. Not surprised. Keep on. Given the fact that the game's almost over. And can he score that? Nope. I think the game... Oh, whoa. Okay. Otamendi with a goal, and that'll be 3-0 for us. A corner by Messi, and I'm pretty sure he is going to grab that man of the match as well. Quite a good shot. Wow, two goals in around around like five minutes. That's not bad. That's, that's really good. Well done, lads. Hopefully to see you all next week and um, get the victory. Okay, the Di Maria that gets the man of the match. Yeah, he should definitely play winger. Uh, appreciate TMI doesn't have it easy. What? Appreciate TMI doesn't have it. What the fuck is he talking about? What's your reaction in what TMI use angle team in the international news? It was I it was an ideal to pl to play more than I asked, but it's not always easy for uh, like green judge blah blah blah. So, yeah, it's competitive game. Okay, good thing they're learning. Good thing they're like they're chill with me, which is good. Alright, international duty ends here, and uh, that means that our next match Still against Brazil, which will be in 80 days, which is when I'll see you guys all. Not in actual, like, 80 days, but you guys know what I'm talking about. And uh, I think we'll have our Copa America in this in this season, too. I think we do. I'm not quite sure, but we do have the World Cup qualifiers. So we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, hopefully, of course, you guys enjoyed this first episode of what whatever I'm going to call this series. That is it for me. I'll catch you all next time. Peace. Thanks for watching.